You guys, it is so hot here in New York and it's been so humid. This really is not the best um, review to be doing in that I'm in a full tuxedo here, boiling my brains out even though the AC has been on for the past hour trying to cool this place down. Hey guys, it's Suresh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. So we have been revisiting my doll archive to go through the 2013 Barbie fashion model collection. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I only have three of the five dolls. So today is very unfortunately the last doll of this collection that I have to review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Taylor Tuxedo Ken doll. I am excited because as you guys may know from some of my previous Ken doll reviews, I don't have a lot of Ken dolls, not because I don't want more, but I just don't feel like there are ever good BFMC Ken dolls coming out. I have him here in my collection. He has been waiting very patiently to meet the rest of his gang. Here he is right here. Beautiful, heavy, heavy box. I feel like this is a very Suresh Ken. I was also very excited to review Jean-Franco Ken from another BFMC collection. Even though I loved his outfit, I didn't feel like it was very Suresh because he wasn't wearing a bow tie, duh. I did already take a peek at him when he first arrived a couple of years ago, um, but I don't think I've opened this box in, oh gosh, like two or three years now. Without further ado, let's open him up. I'm gonna pull apart the ribbon, pretending like I opened it up for the first time. Three, two, and one. Oh, yes! I forgot how handsome he is. What a beautiful, beautiful tuxedo. I cannot wait to get in here and take a look at all these pieces because <laughs> I literally have this exact same outfit in my closet. Here is Taylor Tuxedo Ken in his box, you guys. He's got a very handsome face. He does have a really cute beauty mark up on his forehead there. And here is his beautiful tuxedo. How darling is that, right? Has all the little details in it. And here are his handsome little shoes. Here is the back of the box. He is a gold label doll. There's a handsome photo of him and a little story about his ensemble. And he is limited to 4,000 pieces worldwide. Taylor Tuxedo Ken came out on August 14th of 2013. He is a BFC exclusive, so you do have to be a Barbie fan club member to purchase him. Here, he lifts out of the box just like so. Standard silkstone packaging in the back. He's held down by black silk ribbons and uh, the stand is behind him here in the box. These were the days where the stand was behind the doll. Nowadays, they are found back here. And then underneath that, the tissue, when we lift that up, we see his certificate of authenticity here. Um, tailored Tuxedo Kendall right there. And then underneath that are his special care instructions. I love a tuxedo in real life. I have multiple and I'm very excited to see a mini version of it. Woo! Hey boo, hey! Wow, he feels so solid. Ooh, he's crinkling. Oh, interesting. So that must mean he is lined in plastic. Yep, that's a crinkle, all right. Here is his stand in the box. It's a standard silkstone weighted base, all black, and then he has the um, clear stand that clips him at the waist. Here's our handsome tailored tuxedo Ken doll out of his box. Wanted to give you guys a close up before we start reviewing him in detail. Love the white bow tie and the white vest. Beautiful tuxedo with peak lapels. It's a single breasted double button jacket. And here are his little pants, how cute. He does have beautiful tuxedo shoes on as well. They are nice and glossy and they have all the classic lines of a tuxedo shoe. He does have a lot of hair, let me tell you, ton of hair, but there are some beautiful um, highlights and lowlights in it as well. So I'm down for that. We're sort of twinning on the hair front except I just went today and got all this side cut off because <laughs> I am not about having a little mushroom head, okay? Ken can pull it off, I cannot. The jacket does have a single vent here in the back. Generally not how a high-end tuxedo is made, generally it's double vent. He's got a full brow, like a full brow, and <laughs> y'all know I love that. <laughs> Ta-da, so there is the little jacket. Oh, it's so cute. The fabric on his tuxedo is very, um, untuxedo like. Generally, um, a men's tuxedo will be made from a silk wool blend, um, but I don't really know what this is. It could be a wool. Oh, look at this little shirt. Cute. His cuffs are sewn into place. A beautiful white 
um, dinner vest. The vest does also have a beautiful shawl collar on it, which I love. Um, not all vests have that, so this really is um, true, uh, elegant, formal wear for a man, and um, Robert Best did get those little details down. Oh, oh this is so cute. Oh, I love this. <laughs> See, there's one snap closure here, and then it looks like maybe another one down here, but there needs to have been maybe something here because this just keeps like flaring open, which I think is so weird. All right, what is the bow tie situation here? Uh, oh, interesting. It is a Velcroed on. So Monsieur Ken does not do self-tie bow ties, unfortunately. There is no button here at the top. There is no uh, flap that covers the fly here, which I think is a little bit annoying because when he was moving around, I could see like his shirt like shining through, you know, like peeking through here. So I was kind of like, oh boy, no, we can't do that. Go ahead and take his little shoes off here. Oh, so cute. This is like seeing my closet in miniature. Ah! Yeah, this plastic is bothering me to no end. Yay! Ta-da! You're free, Ken. You are free, honey. Shirt does the same um, tuck under kind of like ballet leotard thing that Jean Franco's shirt did. Understand why I think it helps keep it tucked in at all times, which is great. I often wish that my real shirts would do this sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, look at this little shirt. Oh, you guys. Here is our man of the hour in the buff so that you guys can take a better look at his physique. Um, nice toned and trimmed body. He does have the wonderful silkstone ability to kind of part with his own arm. <laughs> Getting him dressed and undressed is quite easy. His legs, uh, they do move forward and backward, and then they also tilt to the side just like so. So. Um, getting pants on him is much easier. His right arm does have a little bit more of a bend at the elbow than his left arm. Left arm is quite straight and their little hands are so cute. Love so much. You can even see his little fingernails there. Oh, Mr. Ken Carson, how freaking cute are you? Dark brown eyes, beautiful, rich, dark brown eyebrows. He does have a really, really nude neutral lip. I love all these highlights in the hair. I didn't think that I would, but in person, you guys, it's actually really handsome, I have to say. Here are his slim silkstone legs with nice muscle tone, and then here are his little feet there. You can see his little toes, how darling. Here is his sweet little dress sock. It does have a nice bit of elasticity to the fabric. It does feel like a nylon rayon blend this is generally what a men's dress sock would be made out of here's his little shirt i love that the collar is a full-on tuxedo collar there's one snap closure there um, i do wish that there were a few more closures so that this top part of the shirt stays closed when he is um, standing upright but there are the little cuffs they are not convertible cuffs um, and they don't button or unbutton but that's fine um, the shirt does have the traditional um, shape so that you can tuck it in on the back and the front. Fabric does have an interesting print to it, and there it is. It feels like a really beautiful cotton, um, cotton broadcloth most likely, which is what generally men's shirts are made of. And then there at the bottom, you can see the elastic that uh, keeps the shirt tucked when it's on him. Here's his beautiful little vest. I love the shawl collar on here. Um, it too has a beautiful, sort of like a waffle print to the fabric that also is such a nice little touch. Um, it closes with these, these two silver snaps, and then when the snaps are on, you see um, three little white buttons there, so that is cute. There are two pockets there on either side. They are not functioning pockets, they're more just for the look. And then when you turn it around, you see that in true fashion, the entire back is all silk, and that's the way a men's vest should be so that when you are wearing the jacket over this there is no friction when the two fabrics are rubbing the collar here is fully convertible it does fold up and down the construction on this is really nice it's quite neatly done and you can even see the little notches here or a true bow tie lover like myself this is just the cutest freaking thing ever i think little white satin bow tie this really is the epitome of formal wear in the men's world so i love that he's wearing this um, it does Velcro there in the back, so it's easy to take on and off. Here are his little pants. I do love the little satin waistband here. Um, it's held together with one snap, just like so. 
the fly does not have any sort of uh, fabric flap or uh, closure um, but I guess that's fine even though it does open a little bit here if you move around with him here are his little side pockets they are cute little side vented pockets here they are open so he could put his hand in here in theory but i don't think he could reach them and then there on the inside you can see the detail of the pocket so that's a nice little touch there so it's a fully functioning pocket on the inside you can also see the seaming detail here it's quite nicely done finished off on both sides so the fabric doesn't fray beautiful let me get this thing off so an impression of a zipper is sewn in here it's top stitched in um, and then there is some little bit of top stitching here on the pocket as well um, the side seam is nicely done and pressed down nicely here are the cuffs um, it is a rolled up cuff on this pant here um, they are not sewn into place okay just like really really pressed into place oh there's one on this side okay got it the inside again um, as with the top is nicely finished off it's all done nice and even it's a very straight leg pant here are his beautiful little patent leather tuxedo shoes i love that they really are so true to form of what a real tuxedo shoe looks like they are quite glossy they have the nice heel in the back here and they have the little laces imprinted here on the top I have these exact same pair in my closet so seeing these in doll size is just too much I just I can't even <laughs> this little tuxedo jacket you guys is everything I tell you when Mattel does nice jackets like this it is just the cutest freaking thing ever because all the little details are done so beautifully let me walk you through this it is a single breasted single vent tuxedo jacket here there are two buttons on each cuff the arm and then a beautiful peak lapel that is in satin it is fully convertible so it can be popped up just like so underneath is lined in the same fabric as the rest of the jacket there is the mark of a little pocket up here it's not a functioning pocket and then there are two flat pockets down here as well I don't think they are functioning no they are stitched down the jacket closes with a hook and eye just like so it is a thread loop instead of an eye so when you push it in it just closes like so two little buttons right there to give the impression of a true menswear jacket and then when you open it up it is just beautiful wow look at that i love that all the panels are lined this is very very true to what a true menswear blazer and tuxedo jacket looks like the sleeves are not lined i can see um I suppose it's fine because it would have added more fabric here which would have then become very bunchy when he was um, trying to be moved around or when his right elbow here is naturally a little bit bent. There are no specific uh, cuff details here except for just the two buttons. The seaming here is done really beautifully. All the lines of the jacket are pressed down really nicely. The vent here is a little bit um, crinkly in that he was kind of sitting like this in his box so I may need to give this a little bit of a press I'm not entirely sure what this is it looks like there may have been a small accident at the factory or something this is one of those fabrics that will kind of soak anything up so if you spill something on it or rub something up against it it will hold on to it forever so there we have it you guys this is Taylor Tuxedo Kendall from the 2013 Barbie fashion model collection. If you guys are thinking of adding him to your collection, I do highly recommend him. He is a very handsome doll and all the pieces are so true to life. I absolutely love that so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I hope that you learned something. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you guys will be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Check me out on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Ken and I are going to head uptown to the wonderful Surrey Hotel. We have a fabulous event to go to this evening, and we are black tied and ready to go. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Ken here in New York. Mwah! And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye!